What is up everyone? We're here once again with some Final Fantasy 7 for the uh, uh, Steam. This is the uh, not OG but somewhat OG Final Fantasy. Uh, playing this along with the Brady Games Strategy Guide just for the pay of it. Uh, so what's going to be happening, I made a decision between uh, the last video and this video. I am going to go ahead and get the Gold Chocobo. Get you know go do the ancient forest and all that kind of stuff i am not going to be showing the whole how to get a cold gold chocobo on here that in its own would be like four or five freaking videos at this point so um you can find guides out there for that so i'm going to basically make a cut get the cold chocobo and then we will uh go to the different materia caves the chocobo sage um all that kind of stuff uh, we'll kind of show where those different things are at. If I need to make a cut in there to kind of show something, I will. Maybe I'll show when I get each one. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I, I'm not going to show all of that. Uh, there's plenty of guides out there. You don't need me to make a guide on that one. Uh, th this game is popular enough, so uh, they exist. Go, go, go find them. Uh, but then we'll come back, and in this video, we will... Um, continue with because I mean all it's left is to do the parachute into Midgar but I want to get the special key to go back into Midgar to get to some of the other places first uh, yeah a lot of stuff guys this is where all the side mission stuff can happen or I can just advance the storyline I'm going to go ahead and do this, some of the side mission stuff again how much am I going to show on camera I don't know but the gold chocobo no so uh, we'll come back when we have a gold chocobo or if I need to cut back for something else. So we will see you then. All right. So I'm God, this took me a lot longer to do than I ever thought it was going to. So it's taking me an hour and 45 minutes to finally get two regular chocobos, both male and female of great uh, status condition and get the carob nuts I need to start the breeding process there. I haven't even begun to race anything yet. Uh, it took me an hour and 45 minutes. But while we're over here at the Bone Village, I figured well, let's go ahead and get the key to get back into Midgar. So... Uh, I think it's we want to... Uh, is it dig for... Regular treasure, good treasure. Let's see, it's in here. Uh, we want to look for normal treasure. Show us where you want to dig. So we want to go all the way to the top. And it could be anywhere up here if I remember correctly. So we'll put a guy there. Put a guy here. We'll do one here. I think we can do one more. Put this one here. This will get us the key to get back to Midgar. Can I get one more? Um, can. We'll do it right there. I don't even say it ends up being in the fire pit normally. Here. 
Nothing. Did I already find it? No. Normal treasure. Yeah, we're looking for the key to Sector 5. Here, might as well go ahead and do this while we're here. problem if it doesn't work this time I know the problem and we'll, we'll go fix that real quick and we'll do it on camera yeah okay so dig right here problem is we need to go back to the gates of Midgar That's fine. That's because I screwed up. All right. Back to the high winds. Careful not to fly over it. Well, let's save before we do this. I don't want to trigger anything by accident. I dropped the key. Oh no, I must have been on that excavation tour. Now we can go back. Uh, high winds over here. Now we can go back to Bone Village and try this again. Start digging normal treasure. So now we want to have them dig up top. Oh boy. In here. To the top left. And then we should be ready to blow this. We'll find the key. And that'll set up another thing that we can do after we get all the chocobo thing done. in front of this chick then. There it is. So that's how you get to the Sector 5. How you can get back into Midgar. Um, so you can get... Uh, what was it? Kesa's ultimate weapon, you can get Tifa's ultimate weapon? Yeah, Tifa's ultimate weapon, and uh, yeah, so. Alright, I'm gonna back to the Chocobos. And we are back, and after a painstaking, uh, gosh, 10 hours, I finally have a gold Chocobo. That was the hardest time I have ever had at trying to get a gold chocobo never had those kind of issues before 
But now that we have it, we can uh, do some exploring and get to some of the Materia Caves and get some extra Materia. So we're going to do that now. So the first Materia Cave I want to visit can be found over here. And the gold choke will just let you run everywhere. And you can just like literally just run everywhere. It's great. So we're gonna come in here. Over the course of many years, Mako energy crystallizes into materia. The quadra magic. This allows you to cast magic four times in a row. So yeah, there it is. Um, I did sell a full maxed out all so I could buy all the crap I needed to do the chocobo. Uh, all the breeding and stuff. So the next one. We're going to save Knights of the Round for last. It's going to be over here by Wu Tai. over here there it is should be a support materia over the course of many years Mako energy will crystallize the materia the mime materia which can be very 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 powerful especially when you mime a quadra magic uh, cast Next, we're going to come over here. Right here. You get a utility over the course of many years. Get the HP MP reverse. And then the piece de resistance. Is over here. It's not technically on the map. By the way, you do have the Chocobo Sage over here. I can't remember if I visited him. Ah, uh, there he is. Uh, with you guys in the party or not. Already the party, good god, uh -huh, on camera, but that was the Chocobo Sage. We're gonna run this way, just north of the Goblin Islands. Should be right around this area. There it is. And here is where we get the infamous. Summon Materia. Knights of the Round. Get rid of the Neo Bahamut. Row in Knights of the Round. What else could we do right now? Um, let's see, we could... Can you see that island from here? You can't. Uh, we can go back into Midgar, I guess. Especially since we have the key. Up, down, up, down.
It's Parker Chocobo. And we can go in. Okay, so. Let's drop a save. Oh, also, we did get the level 3 limit break unlock for Tifa and level 2 for Sid. Did enough grinding to do all that. Let's go get Tifa's ultimate weapon. Whole dive bomb in, we can get Kate Sith's ultimate weapon. Oops. I do that every time. What's Eris House? What am I doing? Wall market, we have to go back to the playground. Should be over here. Oh, look, the Hell House. Just as easy as ever, Crisis. This way and wall market. So now we should be able to come in here. Mm, let me see that. It should work now. Go on, try it. Sid, what did you do? Don't get mad, you just get more wrinkles. Hey, something's coming out. Receive the premium heart. Again, you get no materia growth, you can hold a crap ton of materia. Really, she's not wearing a uh, let's not do that. Oh, he could hold a lot more. Quadra magic. Ultima? I mean, obviously we have to level Ultima up. Okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, do we want to go ahead and make this getting some stuff? some of that. Let's go ahead and get... Was there something else I needed to do in here? I don't think so. Hmm. 
when we do jump into Midgar, we need to have Bear with us so we can get his ultimate weapon. I guess we can go ahead and get Tifa's uh, limit break as well. Trusty Steed. Yes, Sid in the party. Let's go ahead and head to Rocket Town. Get his uh, ultimate weapon. Then we can head over to Nibelheim. Let's find a cliff you can't run over. Nope. Okay. My precious rocket's gone. Hmm. No matter how I look. The rocket's still gone, but I just can't stop it. Just call it an old man's folly, if you will. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's a kind of hobby, but out of appreciation, let me give you this. Wish you'd take care of it and use it. So that's SIDS. Right there. Again, the ultimate weapons have zero materia growth. Uh, let's head over here to Nibelheim. Let's go play the piano. Uh, down here, right? No. Middle house. I always do that. And go for it. I remember. Heard this melody somewhere before I played it well. I have the sheet music for that song. Wait a minute, there's something inside the sheet music. Tifa, what's happened to our town? Was it an all illusion or just a dream? No, it was neither. I remember trying to get people out of the flames but not having the strength. Burning with anger, I went to the reactor to kill Sephiroth. But he was nowhere to be found. Instead, I found you, collapsed inside. I felt saving you was far more important than going after Sephiroth. There were several others that were still alive inside, but I was only able to save you. 
As I was coming out of the reactor, Shinder troops were just arriving. They recall a scientist named Hojo was in charge. He ordered the troops to gather up everyone still alive for the experiment. I didn't know what type of experiment he was talking about, but I wasn't about to let them have my dearest student. Putting you on my back, I headed down the mountain to the village. I used the cure spell on you many times and started to head for Midgar to look for a doctor for you. I didn't like that city and my cure spells weren't helping. I decided to go to Midgar to find a doctor I could trust. I was, I'm worried about you, but I can't settle down in one place for very long. Have you recovered fully? Are you well? I wonder how many years have passed since then. I just got into town again, but I can't believe it. The whole town is back to normal, except for the strange people with black clothes all around. The town reeks of Shinra, but I won't go after them. You may think I'm running from them, but it's just that I don't want anything to do with Shinra anymore. It feels like time is running out. I'm sure you'll find this letter and this gift for you. It should come in handy. I can't jump anymore. But I hope you continue to sharpen your skills and remember what I taught you. To my most precious student, from Zangan. Final Heaven. Go ahead and teach her it. Oh, hex it out. Still can't teach this to Sid. Let's say. Don't quite get it yet. There's Final Heaven. Oh. Do we have to have both, all parts of it? I didn't think we did. So we do need a part two of their level 3 limit break. Um, we go ahead and get reds. So let's hop on board. Head over here to Cosmo Canyon. Red in the party here. Let's go in. Oh, it's you. This is terrible. The color of that unlucky star. The children are also scared that they won't even go outside. I'd rather not see it either. I think you can do this in disc two. Can I not? There we go. I hope Great Bukhagen will take care and not overexert himself. Oh, I may be light, but I'm not as young as Danaki. Oops, that will only get you angry. You're just like me. Ho, ho, ho. Is he not back yet? Guess he's not back yet. Guess that has to be a disc three. Alas. Yeah. Alright, well, we can go get Barrett's.
Oh, level four limit break. Again, I think. We could cheat, if you will, and go to the Ancient Forest without having to fight Diamond Weapon, but I'd rather actually fully fight Diamond Weapon. Uh, let's see... It's in here? Is me really going to crash down on us? I'm still too young. I'll never remarry. This memento is all I have of my husband. I'll give it to you if you'll please stop me, dear. Catastrophe. Let's see, we'll still need to... do the whole Wu Tai thing if we're gonna get Yuffies. Um... That's that diamond ultimate weapon is what we need to fight. Well, this might be a good spot. Well, we can go ahead and get the, uh, go grab the underwater material real quick. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Let's, let's do the special cutscene. Since we're over here at Nibelheim, I should have did it while I was already there. And then we'll run over to get the uh, special, ah, uh, special, um, the underwater materia. Maybe I can do a little bit of grinding and then... Is leveled up. Awesome. Now oh, we can go to like, oh yeah, the uh, underwater materials I was talking about. So we'll do that after this. I do back to calm for that one. This will make for a slightly jumbled episode of all the different things that we did, but... It'll be alright. This hints at the, uh, uh, before, uh, yeah, before crisis. Well, the end of before crisis. Crisis core, what am I talking about?
Oh, here. Put this on. It smells a little bit. Don't complain. You look pretty good with that. Well. Yo, old guy. We at Midgar yet? Shut up. You're lucky I even gave you a ride. What are you going to do once we get to Midgar? I know what I'm going to do. I got a place I can crash for a while. No wait, the mother lives there too. Guess that's out. Yep, got to change my plans. Hmm. No matter what I do, I need some money first. Hey, I want to start a business. Now, what could we do? Hey, Cloud. Think there's anything I'd be good at? Hey, old guy. What do you think I'd be good at? What are you yapping about? You're still young, ain't you? Young folks should try everything. You gotta pay your dues while you're young. Go out and look for what you really want. Try everything. That's easy for him to say. Squats. Hey. Of course. I got more brains and skill than most other guys. That settles it. I'm gonna become a mercenary. Yeah, thanks, Pops. Hey, did you even hear what I said? Listen, I'm gonna become a mercenary and that's that. Boring stuff, dangerous stuff, anything for money. I'm gonna be rich. So, Cloud, what are you going to do? No, wait, you got it all wrong. Uh... Just kidding. I won't leave you hanging like that. We're friends, right? Mercenaries, Cloud. That's what you and me are going to be. Understand, Cloud? What do you want to do with him? Uh, forget it, just leave him. They really did an amazing job with this scene in Crisis Core. I mean, they really kind of made him go out like a little bitch right here, but in Crisis Core, God, that ending was rough. Like, in a good way, rough. No. So we get that cool little cutscene. All right, let's head to Calm. Let's get our underwater materia. Honestly, I could probably start taking out the weapons. Next video.
Double crit. Chocobo lure leveled up. It's more luck. Back attack. Right now, we're to calm. Oh, by the way, I did pick up a barrier and exit from Rocket Town uh, while I was working on Chocobo stuff. Should be here, I think. Top floor. The world's changed a lot in the past few days. That huge meteor is covering the sky and acting like it owned it. A lot of my friends have died. I'm going on a journey to pray for their souls. A map that was sunk along with the ship guidebook. A rose that blooms once every thousand years in the desert. A desert rose. A harp that soothes those who hear it. Earth harp. If anybody will bring those things to me. It's the guidebook. Want to trade it? Yep. Underwater material will make it to where there is no time limit. Underwater to defeat uh, Emerald. It's underwater material. Underwater material. Go on. It's yours. I think you get the uh, Earth Harp from beating em or, yeah, Emerald. And then the Desert Rose, I know you get it from beating Ruby Weapon. Alright, let's go ahead and save. And we will call it here. So in the next one, we'll do some more cleaning up of what we've got left and get ready for the final drop in and all that stuff. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, if you do like what you see, if you'd like to drop that like, comment, or subscribe if you're not already, that'd be absolutely amazing. Thank you again, and we'll see you in the next one.